What's going on guys? It's your boy James here with Beards and Cars back with another video. I'm seeing a lot of new faces. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now, that being said, guys, I'm going to jump straight off into this topic today. Today is going to be whipped versus non-whipped beard butter. If you guys see me looking down, it's because I have some beard butter sitting right down here below us where you guys can't see it. But I'll pull it up in the video as I'm talking about it, okay? So, the differences between the two, this is a whipped. This is a non-whipped. And obviously, the first thing you can see is the color. The color is totally different. One of them is more yellow, has beeswax in it, so it's got a little bit more hold to it, okay? So, I'm gonna get straight off into this. Which one do I prefer more? Both of these butters are absolutely amazing, whether it's whipped, non-whipped. If you're not using the beard butter, I suggest you go get one. Use it at nighttime, use it during the day, whenever you want to use it. Go get a beard butter and try it out, guys. I personally use my beard butters at nighttime only. And that's because, you know, when I put a beard butter in my beard, it doesn't have as much as hold. It doesn't help me style my beard the same. And it actually, if it's styled like this and I put it in, and it actually tends to make it kind of kind of bring itself out more natural so i choose not to use it during the daytime but for the nourishment reasons and just moisturizing man and keeping your skin all that stuff up to par i use it at nighttime and especially because i sleep with a lot of fans on so i got one overhead i got a couple blowing on me and the beard is getting dried out in the middle of the night so that's why i like to use the beard butters at nighttime for this particular reason. Now the whipped butter, guys, here's the thing here's the, here's the thing about the whipped butter. I live in Texas, so every time I've gotten a whipped butter, it's never actually made it all the way to me before it's gotten hot and broke itself down and um and then it's not whipped anymore. But it's still a whipped butter, but it's not it doesn't look like it does in a picture where you see it and it looks all whoo and all spirally or whatever. It doesn't look like that. It's broke itself down, melted down, and had to redraw itself, which is fine. The whipped butter, when I put it in, I go to, sometimes I'm laying down, you know, and I'm laying down in bed at nine o'clock at night, something like that. I'll put my butter in. If I put whipped butter, beard butter in, it takes me a long time to go to sleep, not because of the butter, just because my, I got a real racing mind, OCD, and I'll stay up a lot later than I actually want to. So by the time I put this in my beard at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever it is, and fall asleep at 12, one o'clock, I actually don't hardly notice that there's beard butter in my beard anymore. So it's like it's dissipated really quickly. I can still smell it, but it feels like it's not there anymore. And that's, to me, that's a downfall. That's something I don't like about it. Although I will still absolutely keep using it, that's something, that's one of the things that I personally don't like about it. It doesn't mean it's a bad beard butter. It just means that that's my own opinion. But for me, when it does that, I don't like that because the fact that I sleep with so many fans on. Now, when I wake up in the morning, the whipped butter is still doing its job. My comb brushes straight through. My brush brushes straight through my beard with ease, no problems. It's not ripping all the beard hairs out of my beard. And that's the main reason that I use a good beard butter is for that reason. So I can wake up, brush that comb through there and uh, without ripping out 35 hairs in the morning doing my morning routine. And the fact that it does and has a lot of benefits for you. Now, moving on to the non-whipped butters, back to that, I'm a texture guy. I like the texture of a non-whipped butter. They have a little bit more texture to it, a little bit more body to it, and I like that texture. So that's why I personally, as you can see here, let me show you this one one more time. Try to turn that so you can see how much is missing. And then I'll show you this one. And you can see how much is missing. And now I'll show you this gigantic container here and you can see how about half of it's missing. I've had this one the shortest amount of time. So I personally go towards the non-whipped butters. I'm gonna tell you why. The non-whipped butters, when I put them in my beard, they seem to last a lot longer. I don't know if the smells, I never really pay attention to the smells that they're lasting any longer, but the actual product, I can feel the non-whipped butter in my beard longer. You can feel the heaviness of it. You can feel the, the 
you can just feel it. It holds your beer a little bit more. Almost, not like a not like a beer bomb, but it holds your beer a little bit more. And I like that personally, even though I'm going to sleep when I'm using this. I just like the fact that I can tell it's still in there doing something and doing its job to my beard while I'm sound asleep like I need. I want to show you guys this one right here. Cork Town. This is about Detroit. This is about Detroit grooming. So, and the only reason I, I stopped talking about what I was talking about and showed you this is because if you guys have never used Cork Town, and I'll put a link down below where you can get it, this is an absolute, I want to say game changer. This is one of the best beer butters I've ever had, period, in my life, dude. So, and that's why it's empty like that. It's barely anything in there. Um, Corktown, that's the scent you want to get. If you never got it, get Corktown because it's the absolute best, in my opinion, out of all their smells. Get Corktown. Sounds weird when you read it. This is a vanilla, to, uh, vanilla tobacco and cedar wood. Sounds weird, but it's absolutely amazing. So, I, don't, I didn't even like tobacco. I didn't even think I liked tobacco, but let me keep moving on to what I was getting to. So, the non-whipped beer butters while you're sleeping. What I've noticed is I can put this in 9, 10 o'clock at night, the same as the whip of beer butters. But I could wake up 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, have to get up and piss, you know, getting old, that, that happens. So get up, use the bathroom, whatever it may be. Maybe I woke up early, go to work that day. Whatever the occasion may be, I can still feel that in my beard. I can feel the body of it. I can feel the weight of it. And I can actually feel it to the touch. It still feels smooth in my beard. It still feels super, super soft as does the whipped butter. But there's a different type of feel. If you guys ever use the two different ones, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, and the one I noticed this the absolute most on, I noticed it on all of them on whipped versus non-whipped, but the one I learned it that learned this about the absolute most and really changed my mind about the whipped versus non-whipped was when I tried this one right here. Okay, and you can see that there's a lot of that missing. This is a big tub. This is a, what is it? This is a four ounce. When I first used this beer butter, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it is. This is live bearded. Don't matter what scent you get. It's live bearded. It's just a product. When I first got this beer butter, the very, very first day, that night, the first thing I noticed about it was that it had body and texture to it. It almost has like a spongy feel to it, and it's almost like sticky. It's, it sounds weird to say sticky, but it's almost what it feels like. If you guys own Live Bearded, then you know it's got a sticky feel to it. But going back to the whipped versus non-whipped, here's the main thing I noticed about this beer butter, okay? When I put this beer butter in my beard at 9, 10 o'clock at night, whatever time it may have been, that night, and I wake up the next morning, I can still feel that beard butter in my beard. I can tell that it's did its job all night long. My beard doesn't feel dry from all the fans I have just blowing on me in the middle of the night trying to keep me cool. My beard doesn't feel dry. The comb glides through it amazingly smooth as it would. Who's texting me? Who was texting me? Why well, I'm doing a video, how rude. But anyways, it does its job just the same as a non-whipped butter, which will still glide your comb and brush through it easily in the morning, but you can still feel this product in your beard. It feels crazy soft in the morning with this particular product right here. It feels crazy soft, and that is what has completely dedicated me to a non-whipped butter is that one particular product there. And of course the Detroit grooming one because you know, the texture, I like the texture guys. If it's got a little bit of, a little bit of texture to it, I like that. I don't know why, I don't know why I like that, but it just feels good. It feels good, it feels good in the beard. And uh, also the non-whipped, they have a little bit of hold to it. So for somebody like me that likes my beard, you know, half ass straight, whether it's morning, night, I don't care if I'm asleep, I want my beard kind of straight, so this has a little bit of hold to it, and that there alone is worth a lot to me, guys. I like that hold. It's not crazy like a bomb, but it's just a little bit. And the other one, you know, the non-whipped, you know, when I break it down, put it in my beard, it doesn't really have the hold, which is fine for you guys out there that don't like 
any kind of hold in your beard at all. But for me, it kind of, it starts, it takes all the shorter hairs and the split ends. I mean, not split ends, the, the, the wispy hairs, stuff like that. It takes those and kind of just, they kind of just start coming out. Kind of as if you were, you know, you stepped outside, not as bad as this, but kind of as if you stepped outside on a humid day and your beer was all styled and then all of a sudden it just went whoosh. It kind of does a little bit of that to me, which isn't a big deal because I'm going to sleep. The main key thing here for me between the whipped versus the non-whipped is going to be beeswax, the hold that it has, and the morning the differences I feel in the morning, guys. When I wake up in the morning, I can still feel that product in my beard, and I can tell that it's lingering on throughout the, you know, 10, 12 hours, or however long I've been sleeping, or before I put it in. You add those hours up, and you can still feel that in your beard. To me, that's amazing. So this is really just my personal opinion on the differences of the two whipped versus non-whipped butter. I'd like to know. Leave a comment down below which one that you prefer, and. Uh, yeah, hope that helps somebody out because I feel like this is a really long video. and uh, But this is what had to be said in my video about these right here because that is the differences. I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying when I'm talking about the different, two different styles, three different styles, whatever it may be. I'm not downgrading anybody's products here. This is just my opinion on these styles right here and how they affect me personally. Hope somebody can relate. See you guys in the next one.